this yacht has entertained some of the most well-known figures from the film and music industry, as well as politicians. In 2017, Barack and Michelle Obama vacationed on the rising sun, which has also housed celebrities such as Oprah Winfrey, Julia Roberts, Leonardo DiCaprio, Tom Hanks and others. David Geffen, the co-founder of DreamWorks, is the owner of the Rising Sun, which is now ranked as the world's ninth largest yacht. Depending on whose source you consult, the cost of building this behemoth ranged from $200 million to $400 million, although we assume the initial cost was the latter and the additional figures are due to upgrades. The Rising Sun was commissioned by Larry Ellison, a former CEO of Oracle Corporation, who co-founded the company with David Geffen. Lawrence Joseph Ellison, co-founder, executive chairman and chief technology officer of Oracle Corporation, is an American businessman and investor. He was the ninth wealthiest person in the United States and the 10th wealthiest person in the world as of September 2021, according to Bloomberg Billionaires Index, with a fortune of $103.5 billion, up from $57.3 billion in 2018. He requested that the ship be built by Le Sen, a German shipbuilding business. John Bannenberg designed the Rising Sun, who has now passed away. Larry Ellison, Malcolm Forbes, Alan Bond, Bennett S. LeBeau, Adnan Khashoggi and Robert Maxwell were amongst his clients. All of Bannenberg's yacht projects would include both exterior and interior design. When Yachting Magazine referred to him as a stylist, he wrote to the editor in venomous words, Either one is a designer or not. The word stylist conjures up images of flimsy altering of a structure in my mind when, at least in our situation, the reverse is true. Could you please do me a favour and refer to me as what I am? A designer, perhaps a nitpicking unpleasant one, but not a stylist, either when building a new directory or when mentioning my name. Vidal Sassoon has the title, which I graciously accept. He compared himself to an orchestra conductor, someone who could not play all the instruments, but knew exactly what sound they should all be making. Shipyards in the Netherlands, Italy, France, Germany and England collaborated with Bannenberg. With the cooperation of the Ocean Fast Yard in Perth, Australia, he re-established his connection with the land of his birth. He created ideas for a successor to HMY Britannia on two occasions. Mr Ellison received the ship in 2004 and split ownership with David Geffen until 2010 when he thought it was too big and sold his half to Geffen, who is now the sole owner of the boat, while Ellison purchased a smaller yacht. According to Germanische Lloyd, classification organisation guidelines, the Rising Sun yacht is built with a sturdy aluminium superstructure, a displacement steel hull and teak decks. The ship is propelled across the sea by four MTU 12,061 horsepower diesel engines. The ship's top speed is 30 knots, while its average cruising speed is 26 knots. For times when the boat is at anchor, zero speed stabilizers are installed to make it more comfortable and safe in rough waters. The rising sun has a length of 453.97 feet, a beam of 62.34 feet, a draft of 16.08 feet and a gross tonnage of 7,841 tons. Bannenberg and Rao designed the exterior and Seacombe Design developed the inside. Le Sen again designed it and it was refitted in 2004 and 2011. It was the world's sixth largest yacht at the time of the sale, but new super yachts have pushed it down to ninth place. This gigantic yacht requires a crew of 45 people to maintain and run and they are housed in 30 cabins. The guests are housed in eight cabins that may comfortably sleep 16 to 18 people. The boat boasts almost 8,000 square metres of living space, which allows for greater meeting areas, as well as lots of places to get away from the crowd. On board the boat, there are five decks with a total of 82 rooms. A spa and gym are among the luxurious amenities, allowing clients to keep up with their daily workout regime. The Rising Sun also has a lift elevator that transports passengers between the five decks. A helipad is also on board for convenience, allowing visitors and owners to enter and go from any location. A swimming pool with underwater lights for good illumination and a sauna for relaxation are available for fun in the sun. 
The ship also has air conditioning in all 82 rooms, allowing passengers to maintain comfortable room temperatures even on hot days at sea, as well as a tender garage and a cinema that can accommodate all guests for entertainment. Since its construction in 2004, the Rising Sun has only had two owners. For a while, co-owner Larry Ellison and David Geffen split it, but Ellison later sold his portion to Geffen, who is now the sole owner. The yacht, which was previously the sixth largest in the world, is still regarded as a marvel, despite its current ranking of ninth. With five decks and 82 rooms, it's brimming with luxurious facilities. The ship, which cost $200 million to build, is now worth between $300 and $400 million, and its value has only risen with time and, no doubt, several renovations to suit the owner's preferences. It has served as a recreational vessel for some of the world's most famous people, including some of the most cherished Hollywood stars, as well as a past president and first lady. The Rising Sun is without a doubt one of the most beautiful yachts ever built. And for those who are fortunate enough to be invited on board, will be treated to a world-class luxury experience. That is all for today, folks. Hope you enjoyed and will watch more videos with us.